Hi, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And if you are coming back, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my figure collection. There are about 27 figures that I'm gonna show you guys today. Yeah, I hope you enjoy. First, I'm gonna be starting off with my Unbox Funko Pops. Usually, I keep them all in a box, but there are two that I open. The first one is Spider Gwen Unmasked, and she's actually pretty old because she's like a genuine bobblehead. I kept her box. This is what her box looks like. Uh, she is number 152. And this is the series that she came in with She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Doctor Octopus, and Falcon. The next Unbox Funko Pop is the Rasengan Naruto. I love, love, love Naruto. If you have seen my room, you know this. And here is his box. He is 181. And this is the series he comes in. There's the Rasengan Naruto, Kakashi, Sakura, Tobi, Naruto Sage Mode, and Naruto in the Six Paths Mode. Now on to the Funkos that are in their boxes. The first one I have, I actually got in an antique store for like $5. A steal in my book. Hello Kitty, she's number 28. And this is the series she came in. They're all Hello Kitty. The Hello Kitty Classic, which is the one that I have. Hello Kitty Kawaii Burger Shop. Hello Kitty Sweet Treat. And then Hello Kitty 8-Bit. I low-key want this entire series. I love Hello Kitty. The next one is probably one of my best. Jin of BTS. He is number 219. This is Jin's look from the Dynamite music video. And the series he came in is obviously all the other BTS members from the Dynamite music video. If there was another that I would want from this, it's probably Jungkook's. Next, I think this was one of my, if not the first, then one of the first Funko Pops I ever got. And that is Louise Belcher from Bob's Burgers. She is number 78. And the series that she comes in is just the rest of the Belcher family. Next, I have Monica Geller. And this is from their Jamaica trip where she got her braids. She is number 704. The series she comes in is actually pretty cool because it's all the friends, but they're all like different versions. So it's like Joey in all of Chandler's clothes. There's Ross. Chandler and Rachel from like back in the day. There's Phoebe when she was Supergirl for Halloween. Next we have one of my more recent Funko Pops and that is Maki Zenin from Jujutsu Kaisen. I love, love, love. Oh, it's so reflective. She has like her staff and everything. This is a really cool Funko Pop. She is number 1,373. In this series, there's Ghetto, Mai, Panda, and then Inumaki. Next, we have a pop from the My Hero Academia X Hello Kitty and Friends. This is My Melody Ochako. So cute. I got this on Amazon for like $20, but I needed it. Like, look at how cute. I love her. She's number 794. This series is the entire crossover series. Next is a real, real, real good one. Also, I got at the same time as Maki from My Beloved Boyfriend. Thank you so much. This is Jimi Hendrix. He is number 311. And there is no series because it's just Jimi Hendrix. And he's just absolutely shredding in there. I love it. I love his hair. And this is from the Funko 2023 Summer Convention. It's a limited edition. Next, we have one from Into the Spider-Verse. We have Prowler. Ooh. He is number 407. And the series that he's in is the Into the Spider-Verse series. So there's Miles Morales in his like actual costume and then the one that he originally made there's um peter right yeah peter parker spider gwen spider noir and the green goblin and he's also a bobblehead next we have one from dc's justice league this is wonder woman she is 206 she's just so cute in there like her blush her outfit the series that she's in is just the rest of the justice league yeah. And the last but most definitely not least, Naruto Uzumaki in his sexy jutsu. He is number 726. 
This is also for my boyfriend. He got this for me for my birthday. I have wanted this one for like a couple of years now. The series that he's in is just normal Naruto Uzumaki, Gara, Orochimaru, and Tsunade. Now I'm gonna show you my two mini Funko Pops that I have on the keychains. First, I have Michael Scott, world's best boss baby, okay? Not boss baby. From the office, he's just holding his little mug and he's chilling. And my second mini Funko Pop is All For One from My Hero Academia. That takes me into my mini figures. Both of these were from blind bags from Target. First, I have Yuji Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen. He came with like this little stand. So like he is a movable little guy. And then now the cutest little guy, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. I like this one more than Yuji because I don't know. I feel like the quality is like better and he genuinely looks like Tanjiro, whereas Yuji looks a bit cracked out. Now on to my actual figures. I'm gonna start with my Demon Slayer ones because for some reason I have a lot of Demon Slayer. So first we got a little Uzi, Uzui Tengen. This is like a sitting figure and he has his onigiri. Yeah, I got this one from a store in the mall. This is really detailed and look at his muscles. His face looks good. It looks genuinely like Tengen. A good figure. Next, I have two Nezuko figures. This is the first one. She's kicking. Yeah, she's super cute. This one is also pretty detailed. Like that genuinely looks like Nezuko. My second Nezuko figure is also for my boyfriend that I got for my birthday. And it's a sitting one. This is literally the cutest little thing. I love Nezuko. She is just a doll to me. They painted her nails and all that. So I, I like it, it's a good figure. Next, I have one of my favorite Demon Slayer characters, Mitsuri Kanroji, and I love her sword. If you've seen the show, her sword is like less of a sword and more of like a ribbon type whip situation. I don't know. This is a Kuposki, which I think is also Banpresto. But yeah, her quality is super good. The last Demon Slayer figure I have is my favorite Demon Slayer character, Inosuke. And Inosuke is a Nendoroid. So there's more like faces and there's like his boar head also too. But I just choose to have him like this. Now on to the rest of my Nendoroids. So first we have Neji Hyuga from Naruto. I love Neji so much, like you guys don't understand. He is like at least in my top five characters. I love this man. I don't know why, I just, I do like. And look at his little Nendoroid, like he's just so cute, I can't. I'm gonna make a shrine. I'm gonna make a Neji shrine. Next I have Hinata Miyake from A Place Further Than the Universe. If you like shoujo anime and you have not seen A Place Further Than the Universe, you need to watch A Place Further Than the Universe. It's the cutest little show, but look at her. She was my favorite character. I love her. Her and Endora came with like so much stuff. Like there's a little iceberg and a camera and a mask because they're in Antarctica in the show. So like there's a lot of stuff that they have. Unfortunately, her hair, there's like a piece that like connects, but it can also disconnect, right? I broke it. I broke one of the pieces off. I did. We just put her hat on and don't say anything. Now for my favorite shoujo anime, I have Sumugi Kotobuki. I've seen k -On like three times and they took it off Netflix, which makes me so enraged because now where am I supposed to watch it? But yeah, she is just the cutest little thing. She comes with like her little keyboard. So cute. I love it. Oh my god. And there's like little pickles for her eyebrows. Her Nendoroid came with a couple of good things too. Now I have two little mini Sailor Moon figures. I love Sailor Moon. I need more. But first I'm gonna start with my second favorite character, Sailor Venus. I don't really like a lot of the girls in Sailor Moon. But yeah, this is Sailor Venus. She's so cute and little, but still also very detailed and like a good quality figure. Now we have Miss Pretty Guardian herself. If there is a character in any anime, any, any series in general that I relate to the most, it's her. 
because she's just so sensitive. Like when it comes to her schoolwork, she's just so lazy. I'm her, she is me. Also a pretty good quality figure. It's just that like her stand is weird. Same thing with Moogie. It's just hard to like get her to stand up. But yeah, she's a she's good quality. Like it's really detailed and like see. But like yeah, she's super cute. I love her earrings. I love her in general. She's gorgeous. Now for the grand finale, my most recent figure is Miss Maki Zenny again a genuine figure oh my god when i was putting her together the staff situation i couldn't figure out for the life of me like i was really trying but it looks good now like ah oh, she is so cool and i can't wait for like her in like the later parts of the series to be animated but yeah she is just so cool those are all my figures for right now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up below. If you have not seen my K-pop album collection video, go watch it. If you like K-pop, go watch it. It's a great video. Question of the day, do you guys like figures or Funko Pops more? I know that everybody has different preference. I personally like figures more. I do love a good Funko Pop, do not get me wrong, but a figure is just, it's just so different, especially Nindoroids and like the little tiny ones. They're just so cute. But yeah, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.